morning. It's January 11th, uh, 2011 actually. And this is a short video showing you my hotel room that I've been in for the last almost 21 months. And so I'm just taking a, a quick overview so that I don't forget it. Anyway, this is this is what it looks like. So let's let's just go slowly here. Here we are. Okay. This this part right here. This is my outside balcony. This is what I get to see. Uh, don't worry about the windows being like this. There's nothing they can do. It's between the pane, so they'd have to change all the panes. It's one of those unfortunate things. These are my birds. And if you want to see birds go crazy, you just whistle. I've been feeding them now for almost two years. And uh, this is what I feed them. Bird seed. And watch this. This is a little pleasure of the day. Okay. down here they're everywhere they're not the least bit afraid anymore and they will actually come into my room and this is my uh, my private area I'm at the end of the building so this is what it looks like see the birds they're not they're not they're not that afraid and this little house right over there that's uh, the gym area and right behind this bush over here is the swimming pool and the pool is just over there and here we are and my birds of course they all go crazy and they fight each other and they marry it's a very interesting thing to watch birds I never realized that they could do all of these sort of antics the way that they can fly etc okay let's just close this my only reason I close this is it keeps their feathers from flying all over the place this is the room, the bed, queen size, two queens, uh, desk I sit at, a chair, these are towels because sometimes I, after I exercise I sit down and cool off or go outside or whatever just depending and now it's the winter time, it's still pleasant. Um, this is the treadmill, they put this treadmill in here, it's a full size treadmill commercial just for me, that's uh, kind of nice, right, has everything, let's go over here. That's what we're looking at. And if we go along, TV, never watch the thing. I think in two years I've watched it about 20 minutes. Front door, my bag here waiting to go back to Walmart. It's a little kitchen area here. Small, you know, with the small and the microwave, etc. My wine, some water, you know. Great big huge 52 ounces of uh, coconut oil, extra virgin, organic, you know, these are just the things that of course keep me healthy. Little blender, coffee machine I never use, it's plastic. Here's some things you see, mangosteen, vitamin C, all of this stuff. This is uh, Canadian maple syrup as you can see, right. anyway, bathroom area. the same as any old bathroom. Today's paper, so you can, we know this is what it is. What's the date? January 11th, right? Bathtub, all basically, same old, same old. We're just doing a walkthrough. Okay, going back out. Let's just see here, bring it outside. hallway. I'm at the end. As you can see, there's the wall. I was looking towards it, so as you come in. Closing the door now. Some people would ask, why would you have a big treadmill in your room? Well, I'm the only person in the room, and so I don't really care that it takes up any room, but when I'm on it like this and I'm running, oh, this towel here, <laughs> the towel is interesting. I have that towel there because um, if I don't have a towel, I see the numbers. 
if I see the numbers, I huff and puff, and it makes it more difficult because I think, oh my God, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it. But when I have the towel, I can go over here and I can put my computer at the end of the desk there, you know, and I move just move these like this and uh, turn my computer around so that it would be something like this. I'm just going to show you just like quickly. It would be better than that, but uh, we don't have time. And so I can I can hear it, and I can watch it. Well, and it just sort of takes my mind off everything. <coughs> and of course, that makes it a hell of a lot easier to do my three and a half to four and a half miles, four to five times a week. I try to do 20 to 25 miles running, you know, every every week. I do, I'd say, a minimum of 20 miles. That's running. That's not jogging. You know, I'm doing about about 5.7 miles an hour which is a little over nine, nine kilometers an hour. Okay, anyway, so this is what you see, you know. Put the light on here, we don't really need it on. I thought it might be too dark, etc. Whoops, because of that, okay. Same with that one over there, just makes it a little bit easier. And uh, my birds, you see, they're still out there doing their little thing, running around, searching for stuff. Oh, here's an interesting thing. You see all of those little stones? See those stones down there? Right along, the, right along the edge. The birds, these little birds, take those stones from over there, hunting for underneath the seeds. And what they do is they take their beak and they put the stone up there to move the stone. And it's an amazing thing. The little stone, you know, as big as their head, even the little tiny birds. You can't see any little ones. If I whistle, maybe they'll come. See? But, but they do that, see, over there too. And by the end of the day, this whole place will have a little line of stones all there. And they do that there. They dig it all up. Yesterday, the guy came and made it all nice. And uh, what's an amazing thing to do is to watch them, how they fight each other. They fight with their wings. So it's pretty, pretty easy, pretty simple, pretty whatever. And the, the antics that they can do, <coughs> they can, you know, they can, they can land like backwards. It's, it's an amazing thing, and they can hop and jump over each other, and I mean, they're very agile. It's just an incredible, incredible thing to watch. You don't normally see birds that close and interacting that the way that they do, and they seem to have a hierarchy, like like a lot of animals. You know, there's, there's one that is usually more aggressive than all of the other ones, and there's, oh, first thing in the morning, when I first feed them, they're going crazy all over. It's like an, an eating frenzy, and... Um, there's about 50 of them there, and of that 50, there's one that's more aggressive than all of the others and strives to be very territorial and doesn't let the birds anywhere near uh, my door here, you know, within a foot or two of the door, or whatever they can, you know, they can manage to, to, to remain king of or queen of. I'm not sure if it's a male bird or a female bird. But the birds, two of the birds will walk right into my room, right up to me. I mean, literally right underneath me. So if I was looking down like this, down from my desk, they'd be right, right down there. And they, you know, they'll eat, and, and I even have them eating out of my hand. It's an amazing thing. So anyway, that's it. Now you can see uh, basically what it's like here. Like I said, I've been here 21 months, almost 21 months. Um, why 21 months? Well, it's like a lot of things. You don't really plan to be somewhere for any specific period of time. In other words, if you buy a ticket somewhere and you and you have, uh, you know, a ticket going back uh, and it's at a specific time, a week, two weeks, a month, or whatever it is, that's different. Then you, you kind of have to, you have an agenda. But when I came here, you know, I told the hotel I would give them a minimum of three months. And uh, three months goes to six months, six months to nine, to 12, to 18, and just every day when you look at it, you think, my God, where did the week go? Where did the month go? Where did the year go? You know, would I choose to, to be here in this hotel in Phoenix? I am in Phoenix, Arizona, you know, uh, for, for two years? No, no, I wouldn't. But do I regret it? Absolutely not. Do I, um, do I wish I was somewhere else? No, not really. I mean, I can pick up and leave anytime I want, but, um, that's, that's trying to explain, you know, why, you know, I spent the time that I have here. Uh, and that's normally the way it's always been. I went to the Middle East. 
I thought I was passing through. I ended up spending 11 years. You know, it's only when people ask you how long have you been there? Oh, two years, six years, nine years. And you think, my God, you know, what's happening here? But that seems to be the way that it is when you're comfortable somewhere and you, I don't want to say that you get into a rut, but, but you get, you have a, a normal day-to-day -day thing that you do, like here, that's my chair. They've changed chairs, they put uh, WD-40 on it, and it makes that noise all the time. I've given up, nothing I can do about it. But, um, you know, my day is you get up, the first thing I do is I look at my computer, et cetera, et cetera. Check the emails, uh, you know, check the little things that I need to check. And then, probably until about 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, I work on the computer. I take maybe a half hour, go to the, to the restaurant in the hotel here and maybe have something or bring it back to my room. I very rarely eat in the restaurant, but I, you know, they treat me really good, so I have uh, full access to the kitchen, et cetera, et cetera, and uh, you know, I can make what I like. Though I don't, I'm not a breakfast eater. But being, the only thing I do for activity, of course, is, uh, is I run. You know, I make sure that I, I do that to keep in shape. And that takes about my time on the treadmill, maybe an hour to a max, an hour and 40 minutes. And running is usually about, I run about four miles, four and a half miles. It takes maybe a little over 50 minutes. And, uh, you know, it's, it's not easy. That's miles, that's not kilometers, you know. So, now I'm starting to ramble. But anyway, this was just an explanation so that I would know down in the future when I look back 10 years from now, I would be able to, to remember, hey, you know, that was part of my life right there. Thank you. Talking to myself, of course, because I'm not expecting to show this to really to anyone. Anyway, signing off. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.